Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a theme on Joomla in 2023. So themes are essential parts of Joomla as they determine the visual design and layout of your website. Of course, in this video, we'll guide you through the steps of installing a theme on your Joomla website. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience so the first step of course is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course for your case you can use any other preferred browser that you would like to have so or you'd like to open once you do so make sure to go to this url section and simply type joomla.org and hit the enter button so if you have any issues maybe you can simply type joomla right like this and make sure to go to this uh, second option which is joomla or g okay i know why did i had the problem because i type it with one o dot uh, org or dot com both will take you to the same option as you can see which is this one for me i already have an account so i don't have to go through all these steps just launching your uh, joomla sites of course for you you'll have to type whatever domain name you'd like to have an example i'm just going to type random stuff here i'm just going to type something here as you can see you'll have to choose the version and a lot of other stuff so if you have an account click on sign in here and you'll have to enter your email and password then click on login into your account once you do so of course you'll have to wait a bit not now i'm not interested in this offer of course make sure if you want the offer they give you 50 percent offer sometime so if you want you will be able to take it normally it will be ten dollars but for now it's just five dollar but it's going to be uh open for just a five uh, minutes so make sure to take it if you want to because it's gonna be just uh for once when you create your account or when you will log in your account if you didn't take it for the first time so now here we'll have to wait a bit until we will log in into our account it should not take a lot of time maybe more it's 10 seconds so of course uh, I'm just going to pause the video until they logged me in and I'm coming back So once I'm logged in into my account as you can see I'll find here a lot of options So of course for you the first step is to choose a theme for your Joomla website So of course there are many sources where you can find Joomla themes such as the official Joomla extension Directory which is GED which is a third-party marketplace or individual the theme developer so you can browse through the available option and select a theme that suits your website purposes and style so once you choose the theme you can download the theme package to your computer of course the package is usually provided as a zip file containing all the necessary files and resources for the theme then of course you will have to install the theme you will need to access the joomla admin panel so you can open the browser and of course for me i'm already doing that and you will have to enter the website url followed by slash administrator so for you make sure to enter your website url uh, here and this uh, url section make sure to follow it by a slash administrator of course this will you will have to enter the login credentials you created during the joomla installation process to access the admin panel then of course in the Joomla admin panel you can look for extensions menu and click on it to expand the options and then click on extension manager and of course the extension manager is where you can install and manage various extensions including themes then you'll be able to upload and install the theme so of course in the extension manager you will find different tabs click on the upload package file tab and then click on the file or choose the file or browse button to, to select this theme package zip file you downloaded earlier from your computer once you have selected the file check the upload and install button to start the installation process and make sure to activate the install theme so after the theme package is uploaded and installed you will see a success message to activate the install theme You'll have to navigate to the instruction menu or the extension menu again, but this time you will have to click on a templates manager and the templates manager. Of course, you will find the list of install theme. You can locate the newly installed theme and click on the star default icon next to it and set it 
as the default theme on your website. Then of course, you'll be able to customize the theme. So now that you have installed and activated the theme, you can customize this according to your preferences. So in the templates manager, you'll find an option customize the virgin aspects or various aspects of the theme such as the logo, colors, fonts, and layouts. And of course, you can explore these options and make any desired changes to achieve the desired look and feel for your website. And of course, once you customize the theme, it's time to preview your website and make any necessary adjustments. So you can use the preview feature in the Joomla admin panel to see how your website looks with the new theme of course for desktop and phone a lot of people uh, forgot about the phone users and they just preview for the desktop users they need some attention as well because a lot of people just using this phone and of course once you're satisfied with the design you can click on publish or go live button so you can make your website accessible to the public so as an example there is a uh, an option here that you can buy themes from as you can see there's the templates monster slash custom slash marketplace uh, joomla themes or you can simply just go here to the search and look for uh, joomla uh, themes and as you can see here you will find a lot of themes you can buy your own and once you buy it of course you will find this on a zip file and then follow the steps but that i told you so you can you simply have to go to your local host or your joomla websites for me i still don't have a website right now but of course for you you can simply click on manage on your domain name and go to your website or simply go to uh, the hosting uh, here and then go to your website and make sure to go to your local host until your credentials and you'll be able to insult of course as you can see you have here various themes so you can choose from of course some of them are cheap and some of them are not as you can see but of course some of them actually deserve make sure if you choose one as an example you choose this one make sure to go and check the live demo of it and even the details and of course you can go and check uh, the rating of other people check if the people that didn't like it why did they like it the people why like it why did they like it so you will not waste your money on uh, nothing and of course make sure to contact the owner before you even buy it so you can talk uh, to him about some preferences if you want or about refund if you didn't like it if it's available and of course you'll be able even to uh, add some other things uh, except the installation of course and setup of course there's even the commercial license and a lot of other services that can come with the theme and of course you can even get a discount if you join to get the item with uh, this monster one and a lot of other stuff if you want to. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations. You've successfully installed your theme on Joomla website in 2023. And of course, by choosing and customizing a theme, you can give your website a professional and personalized look. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we hope it was helpful to you. So of course, if you have any further questions, feel free to explore the Joomla support resources or join the Joomla community for assistance, or you can even use the comment section down below in this video. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel if you like this video and so you can have more helpful tutorials like this in the future. So thanks for watching again and I will see you in the next video.